constantly monitoring our EC and pH of the drainage is one of the most important things that we could do as a grower. This tells us what's happening inside the root zone. That's what really matters when it comes to vigorous growth and healthy plants. In a system like this, oftentimes one of the leading causes of nutrient deficiencies and stunted growth is lack of watering and management of the pH and EC of the root zone. The three things we're trying to constantly monitor and maintain is moisture content, EC, and pH. So now that we've added our fertilizer and we've checked the EC and pH and everything's good, we're gonna now feed the plants and check the runoff to make sure that the EC and pH in the root zone is also correct. What I like to use to collect the drainage is these yogurt containers. They're the perfect size to collect a sample and our probes fit right into them. Now that we have our sample, we're gonna check it to make sure everything's in range. So our EC is 3.0 and that's a good number. We're feeding 2.7 and what I like to see is our drainage EC to be no higher than two EC above what we're feeding. So three is a really good number. And now we're gonna check our pH. Usually with the pH probes, it takes a little bit longer for the reading to stabilize. So make sure you guys wait to get a proper reading. So now the number has not moved for a while and the pH is saying 6.5. So that's a little bit higher than what we're feeding. However, it's still in range and our plants are still able to uptake the nutrients. If the EC in our drainage is more than 0.2 EC above what we're feeding, then this is a good sign that we need to start making adjustments to our irrigation schedule. The first thing we'll do is make sure that we are irrigating frequently enough. In a system like this, we irrigate multiple times per day and each irrigation is around six minutes. So if we don't achieve drainage within that six minutes, then that is a sign that we need to add more irrigation events throughout the day. So for example, instead of watering every two hours, we might water every one hour. Then the next thing we want to make sure is every single irrigation event, we achieve full saturation and we get a little bit of drainage. So of that six minute irrigation, we want to see a little bit of drainage coming out of the bottom of the grow bags for at least a minute or two. This basically ensures that our root zone has been fully saturated and it helps flush out any unused nutrients, preventing them from building up inside the root zone. If we properly manage the EC in our root zone, then the pH should also be in range. So what happens if we let our EC rise too much in the root zone is our plants will have a hard time uptaking those nutrients. And with a really high EC in the root zone, then that would also mean the pH is probably really low and also out of range. Maintaining moisture content and full saturation as well as drainage is one of the most important things that we need to do in a system like this. And it really is the secret to successful crops. What a lot of growers get wrong is they mix their feed EC and pH and they think everything's perfect. And as long as they are feeding their plants the correct pH and EC, then everything will be okay. Well, that is very far from the truth. And the fact is managing the root zone EC and pH is what really matters because that's what your plants are uptaking, what's in the root zone, not what you're giving them. Hopefully this video was helpful and provided some insight on EC and pH management in a hydroponic system. And 
As you guys could probably see, the greenhouse looks very empty and that's because the season for us is over. And we're just getting ready for winter here. We're gonna be coming back again in the spring. I'm super excited for the spring, guys. I have a brand new hydroponic system that I'm working on and there's gonna be a lot more exciting content coming ahead. So bear with me, it might be a little slow this winter with not a whole lot of videos, but I got big plans for next spring and it's gonna be super awesome guys. So I'll see you guys in the next one.